Welcome to Weekend Wonder episode 3. Hi, this is Alfred from Succulent Social. Now this is where we keep most of our Semper Vivums, Semper Vivums. And um, I'm just checking whether they have um, infestations or some pests, you know. So um, this is what I usually do in the morning, see whether there are marks. Yes, there are. You see those white materials there? That mean there are millibugs. So I'm gonna treat that. Which one? You see those? Yep. Those are millibugs. There you go. I'm gonna do those as well. Out here. All good. So far, so good. And I'm just heading for my concrete pots. I'll be making probably a couple of batches today. And then we're heading to a flower festival here in Melbourne region. See you later. The Tessala Kabloom Festival of Flowers is a yearly event held in autumn at the Tessala Flower Farm. There are over a million flowers in bloom spread out over a five-acre garden. The festival has been running for more than 60 years now. In addition to the flowers, the event also features live entertainment, most of which are free. This show will run from April 2 to April 25. festival and these are the pots that I made this morning the weather is good today so they're pretty dry now on the surface so I can start removing all these um, plugs here on top and this will be left again to fully dry for another two days because I checked the weather tomorrow it's a bit it's a bit warm it's actually warm tomorrow so probably be ready by tomorrow then Alright, 
so I'll leave this one here for maybe until tomorrow and then ready to remove from their mold this is the batch from yesterday and this one is from the other day so these are all ready so if I start to remove that mold it just separates from the mold cleanly so that's my that's usually what I look at to know whether the part is ready so it separates cleanly yeah so let's see let us try yep see that clean in the corners there. this is a good patch earlier you saw in the footage that there were um, succulents on sale in the festival so Leslie decided and approved <laughs> that I'll get a maximum of three so these are the three succulents I got from that shop. So we have um, Echeveria, 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 I don't know what's the correct pronunciation. <laughs> this is Contapec Green. There you go. It's decent Agavoidis maybe. I'm not sure. This one is Echeveria Mundust. Um, I've seen this from other um, vloggers featuring this um, Echeveria and it's very beautiful in person it looks like Lilacina and what's the other one? Um, Exotica are they cousins? I'm not sure but they look so so similar and the third one is this it's a titubans graptovaria titubans i think this is a hybrid of uh i forgot i'll 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 put a text below it's a hybrid of um a graptopetalum i think it's the ghost plant paraguayensis and another one so now I have these three added in our collection and so I'm gonna repotting them today so guys I just finished adding in our um, top dressing which this time I use white um, pebbles so here they are I did try my best to <laughs> not to destroy or not to get the farina disturbed but I just can't do that so you can see all this here on the edges where I touch them and they the farina just disturbed so hopefully this ones here will be undisturbed in the next uh, couple of months well it's gonna be winter soon so that would mean they would probably uh, grow slower or be dormant or not grow at all so we might probably see them you know all these smaller leaves really grow bigger and multiply um, more by spring which is around um, September or October October this year so let's wait for that so here they are the three succulents from the festival and I'll be 
putting this in a shady area probably in the next couple of months uh, sorry couple of weeks before i water them and probably i'll be putting them in that area there as they will be getting um morning sun in winter